if you're like me, then you probably enjoyed the scene from Prehistoric Planet where the two Dreadnoughtists were going after one another. You know, to see those two giant sauropods fighting in such a manner, um, that's something that we've never seen before in media. You know, normally we see the big predatory dinosaurs acting in an aggressive manner, but it was really cool and amazing to see the species called Dreadnoughtus fighting against one another. And, you know, forget about Godzilla, forget about King Kong. These were the living kaijus of this earth. You know, animals so big that they probably shook the ground a little when they moved. Fascinating stuff. But how dangerous were sauropods? You know, like most questions in paleontology, it's probably impossible to answer that because we don't have them as living animals to look at and observe. But if we look to the modern day world, more importantly to elephants, and we see how they act, obviously an elephant is going to just live its life and, you know, it's an herbivore, like a sauropod would have been. And that's how I believe sauropods would have been, that they would have lived their lives, they would have caused massive destruction to the environment, knocking down trees, bulldozing environments, just clear cutting because they're so big. I don't think they were looking for trouble like an elephant, but if trouble came their way, I believe that they really could hold their own. You know, think about an, a herd of elephants. It's usually the matriarch, the, the biggest female that's in charge, and that will be the one that sounds the alarm if lions come or if there's a lion roar. There's been some recordings that I've had the chance to see and watch that there'll be a, a sound of a lion and all of a sudden the matriarch assembles the herd of elephants into a defensive posture with the little ones in the middle. I imagine that sauropods would have been the same. And think about a giant sauropod. Think about what it went through in its life, starting from a hatchling, which would have been an incredibly dangerous proposition back in the time of dinosaurs. You have to grow all the way up. You have to become a teen. You have to become a young adult. And finally, you're a giant lumbering sauropod. You are a survivor. You have probably more than likely had your fair share of encounters with predators. So in the answering of that question, how dangerous were sauropods? I believe an encounter with a sauropod could have been deadly. Even if you were the biggest predatory dinosaur on earth, if you were T-Rex, if you were Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus. Now, one of these against a giant sauropod probably wouldn't have worked, but a pack of these things may have been able to take one of them down, maybe a sick sauropod, definitely a juvenile. But I envision sauropods as very dangerous animals just based on their size. They have the ability to crush you with their front two limbs. They could possibly even swing their long neck at you. In Prehistoric Planet, we saw one of the Dreadnoughtus biting and scraping another sauropod with his teeth. Who knows if that may have happened in regards to being attacked by predatory dinosaurs. And then they also have those big tails that they more than likely whipped and swung back and forth. And a collision with something like that would have been devastating. I mean, picture an animal like Patago Titan, 115 feet long, with a ridiculously long tail um, s swinging right at you. And if that collided with you, that could be fatal. So I envision sauropods as peaceful animals, but at the same time, I also envision them as they're weary. And if an animal did grow to become that old and that big, which it takes time, and you must be a survivor in order for time to take place and to reach that height and weight and length, then you've had your fair encounters with predatory dinosaurs, and you're going to be wary of them. And, and any moment where you think there could be a potential threat, you're going to act possibly in an aggressive manner or at the bare minimum to configure your herd or your young behind you to shield them. Forget about giving this video a like. I'd really love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this. How dangerous were sauropods? Thanks for watching.